girls and welcome back to another Lean Girl video here on the Lean Girl YouTube channel. I am so happy that you clicked on this video and I am really excited to share some of my top Lean Girl training tips with you. Now, I talk a lot about nutrition on this channel. I talk a lot about food because I love me some food, but I don't talk enough about training. And so I am excited today to talk a little bit more about training, to delve a little bit further into the best kind of training we can be doing as women to first of all, get results, build that lean, toned, firm, hard body that we are after. And number two, to really get the most out of our training sessions. Because when we are showing up, we wanna make sure that every minute we spend is getting us closer to those goals, right? So I'm gonna be going through seven, I don't know if I said 10, but it is going to be seven um, really important training tips that I want you to start considering when it comes to your training. So before we get into it, please don't forget to show some love on my channel. Um, I love all new subscribers, sending you all amazing love. If you hit that thumbs up button and give the video a like and subscribe, you do not want to miss all of the amazing recipes, all of the content, all of the lean body hacks, um, and everything else we have here on the channel. So let's get into the top seven training tips. Okay, so we are gonna be talking about how we are gonna get you showing up more consistently at the gym. And secondly, how we are going to level up your training sessions to make sure we are maximizing your results at the gym. Now, before we've even got our sweet little asses to the gym, we have to actually show up, right? We have to show up consistently. So if you are not even at the gym yet, so we can't talk about the kind of workouts you should be doing, but if you are so, struggling to wake up in the morning, to stay consistent, to show up consistently, whether it's home workouts, whether it's gym, I need to tell you what is going to be a game changer. And you're gonna think that this is so simple, that it's silly, but it's not. If you do it, I'm telling you it's going to work. So tip number one is how to show up more consistently at the gym. And the first part of this is that you need to train in the morning. I know for a lot of you, you are not morning people, but training in the morning can change the game. Reason being is nothing comes up at 5 a.m. Like yesterday myself, I started working on my computer and before I knew it, it was like half past 10. And the last thing I felt like doing was tearing myself away from my work, putting on my gym clothes and heading to the gym. When I go consistently, which I generally do, that was a really odd occasion, I go 6 a.m. every single day, having a set training time and having that time in the morning can be the make it or break it for your consistency. And the second part of this is you need to go to bed early. Guys, during the week, I know I, I can be a little bit of a granny, but I am super strict on my bedtime. There is no way you are going to wake up early if you went to bed really late in the night before. So have a set bedtime, have a set wake up time, and you will be amazed at how quickly your body clock gets accustomed to this. And you are gonna be waking up with ease. And the thing is here as well, is you need to just make the decision once. 5 a.m. Angie doesn't make good decisions, so I'm not asking her whether I should go to gym or not. As soon as that alarm goes off, I get up, I have my coffee, and I'm going. I don't even ask myself the question. And once you start developing this habit, I promise you not going to the gym is going to be more difficult than actually going to the gym. Seriously, it is when something is a habit, it's just like it's happening and you don't need to use any willpower, any discipline to go there. So consistency is everything and do something that is also consistent for you. So maybe it's not gonna be training six days a week, maybe it's four days a week, but commit to it and you need to build that confidence in yourself that you start trusting yourself that you're gonna do it. Okay, so tip number one is set a time in the morning where you're going to train and go to bed early. That's kind of like a two part. Then tip number two is use a pre-workout or caffeine to give you that extra little bit of 
something to get you going. Now this could be a double shot of espresso. It could be a... Energy drink. Sugar free though, low calories. Don't have the sugar ones. Or it could be a pre-workout powder. One that I love, you guys know I love Metalab, is their pre-workout potion. It is strong. Like in the, the serving size, it says two scoops. Like I have one scoop and I'm like, I don't know if I'm anxious or I've got energy. I'm, I'm both, but at the same time, but at least I go and get all of that out of the gym. A pre-workout can absolutely, especially on days where you are feeling a little bit more tired. And I normally use pre-workouts on big days where I know I really need it. So upper body days, Although I'm actually loving upper body days more than I am lower body, which is so weird for me because I used to be like the leg day girl, um, but I'm loving doing upper body. But I use it generally on leg days. You need more power, you need more energy. So if you are struggling with energy, don't use it every day, but use it when you need that extra little bit of kick. You know? So that is training tip number two, to use a pre-workout. Then let's talk about training style. What is the best training style for getting lean and hard and strong and toned? Let me premise this with any exercise is better than no exercise. So if it is EMS training or no training, please continue doing your EMS or yoga or whatever it may be. But the most effective training style to build a lean, hard, toned body is weight training. Every time, weight training comes out tops. It is better than hip training. It is better than cardio training. It is better than yoga. It is better than any kind of training. And I'm gonna tell you why. So the only reason that your body adapts or changes is to perform a new movement. So the beauty of weight training is we can consistently push our bodies to new limits in the same amount of time just by using a heavier weight or doing more sets or doing more reps. And majority of the time we are increasing the weight, which means in the same hour, we are putting our bodies under more and more stress, right? And the, when you put your body under more tension and more stress, what does it do? It adapts to perform the new movement. Hello! That is called muscle gain. I, I'm pretty sure that we're all convinced now that lifting weights does not make you bulky as a woman. As a woman, if you are lucky, if you're doing all the right things, you could probably gain two to three kgs of muscle in a year if you are dedicated, if you are killing it in the gym. Okay, so please don't be frightened. But the only way to build a lean body and have a firm toned look is to build some muscle. What do you think your butt cheeks are made out of? Okay, you want your bum to grow, but oh no, I'm scared to gain muscle. You have to gain muscle. And essentially we use training to build muscle because there's two parts to getting lean. There's losing fat, there's building muscle. We use our training to build muscle because you can't build muscle through eating, okay, unfortunately, because we would all be very good at that. Um, and we use our nutrition to lose fat. When you do those two in combination, that is when the magic happens. So if you are doing any strategic training, even if it's two days a week, I want both of those sessions to be weight training. Do one upper body, one lower body. The best is if you could do two upper body, now I'm, you see, I just take a finger. Now I'm just grabbing my whole arm. Two upper body, two lower body. I will be so happy. And you are gonna start seeing so many unbelievable changes and you are going to get addicted to seeing those small, sexy baby muscles growing, girl. So tip number three is, what style of training should you be doing? Weight training. All right, tip number four is you have to be doing progressive overload style training. Now, this term may scare you a little bit, but essentially what it means in a nutshell, in simple Sally terms, is that you want to be consistently improving over time. So if today I'm doing 10 push-ups, then next week I'm gonna try and do 12 push-ups. And the following week, I'm gonna try and do 15 push-ups. If you consistently do the same workouts with the same weights, with the same reps, your body's gonna be like, nah, I got this girl. I don't need to change. I don't need to get bigger muscles to be able to do this. I'm, I'm cool. And this is why we love weight training because we can just add on more weights and we can increase the 
load, right? And that is essentially gonna help us to build the muscle. So I want you to be tracking your weights that you are doing. If this week you are doing 12 reps with the six kgs, Get the notes in your phone. It's honestly the easiest to do. Write the exercise. And then I need you to say six kilograms for 12 reps. And then next week when you try and do it, and I know it's not always gonna increase, but I want this to be always top of mind. You need to be trying to progress. If you've been doing the same workouts with the same weights and you are like, why the hell is my body not changing? Now we know people, now we know. So you have to consistently be trying to increase and this is how we are going to get those results to fire in. Kabam. Okay, so tip number four, you have to focus on progressive overload weight training. Tip number five is mastering the basics. Guys, it takes years to master the basics, the squat, the deadlift, the push-up, the pull-up. All of these, these core basic moves, you are not going to be a pro at in the beginning. And you do not need to do jumping, flick, flack, whatever the hell exercises you see on Instagram that, are, that people are doing just to create crazy looking content. You need to do the basics. And so these all work hand in hand, right? So we're gonna do weight training. We're gonna do the basics of weight training. So your core exercises, and then, if you're consistently doing weird, new, strange exercises, how are you gonna track your progressions, right? So you always want certain core exercises in your workouts so that you can start progressing. If today I'm doing squats, next week I'm doing deadlifts, and the next week I'm doing this, how am I gonna know that I'm progressing? And this is what we wanna focus on. So instead of doing a whole lot of strange things, I want you to focus on a few simple exercises and getting better and better and better. Otherwise, you're always starting from scratch, okay? So tip number five is master those basics. Then tip number six, second last one, is to train with intensity and intention. It's a tongue twister, intention it, intention? and intensity, intensity and intention. Try and say that a few times. Um, so when you are doing your training sessions, I want you to be doing your training sessions. I don't want you to be on your phone, chatting to Joe Soap, thinking about this, doing a bicep call. No, I want you to be there. I want you to make sure that every single rep counts. And I really need you to be trusting yourself to know when to push it a little bit harder. Because things can burn like, yeah, you know, this is quite sore, but are you ah, really giving it that intensity and the intention and connecting that mind muscle together? So when you are doing a bicep curl, are you really doing a bicep curl with your whole freaking body from your toes to your head I want you to focus on the intensity and I want you to have intention with each movement. You're not just there doing the exercise to get it done with. I want every rep to be a full range of motion and I want you to do it with the best form that you possibly can and with all of your focus too. So instead of even just increasing the weight on something, can you also do it with more intention and intensity? Because this, is where the magic really happens. It's when you are able to really activate each single muscle um, and when you are do the, doing the exercise to really feel it there. So tip number six is focus with intention and intensity with each rep, with each set and with each workout that you are doing. Slow it down, bring it down, get it down. Doesn't make sense, but you know what I'm saying. And lastly, tip number seven is to have fun. So from tip number one to tip number six, that's all science-based stuff, right? Most of it, it's all science-based and practical and to really get the most out of every single workout. But if you guys know me, you'll know that I love to find the balance between what the science says and real life, right? and combining the two to create something that is 
enjoyable, sustainable, and effective because that is important for just living, right? For just living a good life, to actually heading to the gym and loving your workouts. We don't, at the end of the day, for most of us, we're not bodybuilders, right? We don't need to get our right thigh muscle to be like this perfect shape. We are training to look good, to feel good, to be toned, to be fit, to be all of these things. And sometimes, hey, you can only get a 30 minute workout in. Perfect, go ahead, do that. Give it intensity, try it, get a little bit, push a little bit on the weights. That is okay. And hey, maybe tomorrow you wanna do a yoga class with your friends and maybe you're not gonna do a weight training session. Maybe that's gonna be fun. Maybe you wanna do a park run. Maybe you wanna change it up, do something else, you know? And I think that there is definitely something to be said by finding that balance between cool, like you have your cool weight training workouts and then there's a little bit of room for flexibility and fun and trying new things, trying out new things. I think for, for me at least, I had periods where I got so stuck in the science that I was like, every workout had to be, you know, according to, you know, this perfect program and this perfect plan. Um, and I actually just started losing the fun a little bit or like my workouts used to be really long and something new I've actually been working on is these awesome 40 minute, not high intensity as in hit, but it's got intensity. It has only got four or five core exercises in each. And um, so it's those basic exercises that we really want to work on. And I have been loving it. Where previously, a lot of the weight training sessions that I was doing could easily seep over to one hour, one hour 15, even more than that sometimes with my warm up and my, and my walk that I do. So it just, I was losing the, you know, on exercise like number five, when I'm like, Jesus, I still have like three exercises left. I'm like, this is just not for me. So I've, I'm actually gonna be posting a few of these. I'm calling them TNT workouts, like dynamite. So dynamite comes in small packages and they're also gonna get that body like dynamite, small, hard, powerful, yeah. Lean Girl TNT training method. That's what's coming your way. So I'm excited to share that, that with you. Um, but yeah, that will come in, in a few weeks or so. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to set a bedtime and I want you to have an everyday, the same time, wake up time. Then use pre-workout when you need it. So get yourself a pre-workout supplement, try the Metalab one. There's a lot of awesome ones out there. It's, there's no magic in it, by the way. It's basically just caffeine. And so you could also have a double sh shot of espresso, but keep that in your back pocket for when you need it. Then I want you to find a weight training program. I do have programs which you can check out on my website. There's a program inside my Lean Body Dad program. And I will also have that TNT training method program coming to you really soon. And um, so I want you to have a program that focuses on the basics, basic exercises, and focuses on weight training and that progressive overload. Then each week, I want you to be tracking your weights. I want you to use the notes on your phone, track your workouts, and make sure that you are improving with it. It's even in the intensity and the intention or the weights, reps, and sets. And then lastly, I don't want you to forget to have fun with your workouts. Um, and that is also just as important as all of the other science stuff, is to have fun, to enjoy it, and that is gonna ensure you are gonna be consistent and you can have a happy, full life. And a, a lean lifestyle is not one that we hate, it's one that we love and we just never want, there's no other way because we just enjoy it so, so much. And that is essentially what living a lean goal lifestyle is about. It is about doing the things that are science-backed, that are most effective, and at the same time, living our best life lives in the process. So I hope that these couple of training tips have helped you. I hope that it is going to ignite a new passion for training. Um, and also if you have been feeling like you just aren't getting the results from all of the hard work that you're putting in the gym, perhaps it's time to revisit, to have a look at these, these various tips and see where you can start implementing them, them into your training regime. So look out on Instagram for my Lingol TNT training method as well. I'm really excited. I will definitely post some of the workouts up for you girls to try real soon otherwise look out for my next video coming next week i think next week we are doing a recipe a lean another lean girl recipe so you don't want to miss that one actually i think i might it might be my water eat in a day which i know you girls love so um, i'll see you in the next video comment down below with any questions you may have regarding training i'm always here to answer them um, and don't forget to follow me on instagram for daily posts because our youtube channel is only weekly so if you want more if you want more Lean Girl stuff, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, 
just immerse yourself in the lean girl life and i will see you girls here in the next video Mwah! happy training